for thousands of years, since the time of ancient Egypt, yeast has been used for baking and fermentation. With time, it was observed that dough rose during the bread making process due to the exhalation of carbon dioxide by yeast. When bread is baked, the carbon dioxide escapes, leading a porous and light bread. Similarly, during fermentation, to prepare beverages and cheese, the main gas that yeasts produce is carbon dioxide. It is therefore evident that microbes produce gases during their growth and metabolism. Even so, different microbes produce different gases depending on the organic substrates they utilize. For example, anaerobic bacteria that grow on organic matter such as cellulose produce copious amounts of methane along with carbon dioxide and hydrogen gases. Due to this reason, these bacteria are collectively known as methanogens. Did you know that explorers have found methanogens even in extreme climates such as under the ice in Greenland and in the hot, dry desert of Utah in the United States? Cattle also have methanogenic bacteria called methanobacterium present inside the rumen. This helps them digest the cellulose present in the grass they feed on. This explains why cattle dung, also locally called gober, is rich methanobacterium. This dung or gober is used to generate biogas, also known as gober gas, in a biogas plant. In India, two types of biogas plants are used, the fixed dome type and the floating gas holder type. In the fixed dome type, the dome is made of concrete and is fixed, whereas in the floating gas holder type, the lid is made of stainless steel and is movable. The floating gas holder type of biogas plant is covered with a floating lid so that it can freely rise when microbial activity by methanogens produces gas inside the biogas plant. A biogas plant usually consists of a concrete tank that is 10 to 15 feet deep, where slurry of dung and other bio-wastes like plant and animal remains is placed. In fact, the bio-wastes and cattle dung in the slurry are first soaked in water and mixed in the mixing tank before they are allowed into the main tank, so that they provide the bacteria a suitable medium to grow. Methanobacterium and other anaerobic bacteria present in the slurry decompose it to release a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This mixture of gases is also known as biogas. Moreover, the lid also collects the gas generated which is allowed to flow through the outlet pipe while the overflow tank collects the excess gas released. The biogas generated reaches nearby houses via an outlet pipe. Where it is used for cooking and lighting. The remaining exhausted slurry can be used as fertilizer. Did you know that the technology of biogas production was developed in India by the Indian Agricultural Research Institute or IARI and the Khadi and Village Industries Commission or KVIC? India needs more such biogas plants to have an alternative energy source for LPG since biogas is a low-cost fuel that burns without emitting smoke. As cattle dung is available in abundance in rural areas,
many more biogas plants are being set up in our villages. However, even in cities like Pune, there are some commendable instances of lighting streetlights with biogas. Biogas can also be used to run electric engines such as pumps, as it causes less air pollution. Therefore, whether a village or city, establishing a biogas plant is an effective way to generate energy from wastes, and this has been made possible by microbial activity.